hello guys welcome back to get your tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix wi-fi 6 mediatek mt7921 is not working or you're having error code 10 bar 43 or connections problem wi-fi mediatek mt7921 on your windows and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workarounds and if you are for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification so let's move to the workarounds so the first one is all about you have to restart your pc or laptop that is what you have to do so to do this you just have to go over here and click over here and go for restart and once restart is done you just have to try back and you have to see whether you are able to fix it at. even after trying the first step if it's not working you don't have to be we have parallel solution second one is all about unplug the cable if so including charger so everything is connected to your PC or laptop. You just have to unplug, unplug it completely. Then you just have to see whether you are able to fix, including charges and all those things. You can understand, right? So all those things should be completely removed and you have to see whether you are able to fix it. Even if it's still not working, then we just have to move to the next one, which is the step three, which is all about run network troubleshooter. So which is a very basic step and many of you guys know that. So to do is just have to go over here, search for settings open settings from here you just have to go to system at the top now from here you just have to scroll down and click on troubleshoot click on other troubleshooters and from here you just have to scroll down and you have to navigate to network adapter as you can see we are having network adapter go for ran so what happens is by default if any mistake is going on in between regarding the networks and all those things will be defaultly uh, defaultly by fixed from here itself and that is what you have to do so for this process you just have to wait for the entire process to get complete and once it is completely done for it they'll be asking you some questions and uh, once it is done uh, you are have to face and all those things you have to give all these commands and you have to check whether you are able to fix and this is what you have to do and most probably this has to be worked even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is you just have to do with few commands which i'll be giving in the description which you don't have to worry so you just have to go over here and open so search for cmd click on run as administrator and you have to give these commands so these commands which i'm typing right now on the screen will be given in the description so you don't have to worry and panic so the first one is ip config slash flush sorry it is ip config slash flush dns press enter as you can see we have successfully resolved uh, resolved the cache next is ip config mm -hmm. next is ip config release press enter next is all about ip config renew press enter next is all about you just have to go for it is next command that is n e t s h space winsock reset press enter next is n e t s h i n t i p reset now press enter so as you can see we have uh, completed all these things and they're asking to go for a restart so you just have to go over here and do a restart and most probably after this the issue regarding this has to be fixed even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one that is all about you have to disable and enable network adapters so you just have to go over here in the device manager from here as you can see under a network adapters you just have to go over here so from here what you have to do is you just have to select the respective one and you just have to right click and there is an option called uh, you can go to uh, over here from you can disable i mean you can uninstall disable it and once it is done you just have to enable it and once it is done with this you just have to check whether this enabling and disabling process is going to help you guys out and even after this sometimes it won't work but still we have few more solutions which you can try out which is all about stat wlan i mean wlan auto configuration services on your pc or laptop so you just have to go over here and search for services open this and now from here as you can see these are you just have to scroll down and you have to go for 
w lan okay and as you can see we are having uh, w lan here auto config so what happens is from here you just have to right click and go to properties now as you can see the startup si startup type is being set into automatic you have to keep this to automatic and once it is done you just have to go for apply and go for ok now what happens is you just go for restart the service so once it is successfully done sometimes this has to be worked even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to reset your uh, network drivers so what do you have to just have to minimize this one and go back to the device manager once again from here in the device manager you just have to click on uh, here on the network adapters now from here what do you have to do is you just have to go for select this and go for uninstall it and once it is done you have to reinstall it back once after sudden reinstall you just have to close this and go for a sudden restart or else this changes won't work so which is very important that you have to uninstall and reinstall your network adapters even after trying this we have two more solutions which you can do try out that are going to fix you guys out that is you just have to set wireless adapter setting to maximum performance so if you want to do this you just have to go over here and search for control panel now from here in the control panel you just have to go for system and security you can go for system now from here what you have to do is you just have to follow these instruction that you just have to sorry go over here to the control panel once again there is an option called power option from here as you can see in the power options what you have to do is you just have to change setting okay you just have to go over here change plan setting you just have to go for change plan setting now from here in the change plan setting over here under the high performance change click on change plan setting by mistake i click on this one that is not so click on change plan setting then click on change advanced power setting from here as you can see if you scroll down a little bit you can see wireless adapter setting right here so just expand this one so under this power saving mode as you can see there are two options on battery maximum performance plugged in maximum performance so these two should be maximum you can get an option like this we have options maximum low power saving medium power saving maximum so th set this to maximum power saving parallelly for this one also maximum power saving and once these both things are done you just go for ok and try to close this and most probably have to be fixed and even after trying this if it's not working the next is all about you have to update windows so for this you just have to go over here in the settings go to windows update and from here you just have to check for any kind of updates and all you have to go for retry and check for updates and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out